Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, how the three state buffers uh, work. Okay. So if you consider the the following uh, NOT gate, you know that the any NOT gate has if it's a ha if it has an input of zero, the output would be one, and if it has an input of one, the output would be zero. Okay. And this is pretty much all of the possible outputs that could. Uh, come out of any gate, whether it's an odd gate or an, or an AND gate or, or whatever, the, all the possible outputs are either 0 or 1. We have only two possibilities. Okay? However, if you look at this circuit, okay, which is two NOT gates, all right, two NOT gates connected together, all right, the output of both NOT gates is connected. Okay? And you have here an input of x and here an input of y. And the output z, you want to know what the output is. Okay? So what we have done is that we have connected two NOT gates, we have connected the output of two NOT gates together, and we will put here a LED, an LED, to find out whether the LED is going to light up or not. Okay? If you put an x equals 0 and a y equals 0, then you expect that the output would be 1, and the LED and the Z would be equals to 1. If you put 1 and 1, then the output would be 0. Okay? And the LED will not light up. Okay? However, if you put a 0 here, okay, and a 1 on the Y, then you expect that here will become a 1, and here it will become a 0. So there, so there will be a conflict at the output Z. Is it going to be a 0 or going to be a 1? You, the, the LED will not know what to do, whether it's going to light up or not. That's a conflict. Okay? And this is why we should not connect outputs of, of uh, different gates in any digital circuit together. We should not connect any two gates that are different, that are controlled by different inputs, okay? independent inputs. We should not connect those to outputs together. No, neither two, nor three outputs, nor four. Only every output should be connected to a specific LED. However, sometimes we need to work to operate on this circuit, and we need to operate on this circuit for some other times. Okay? And this is why we, we, need, the, we need to introduce the concept of three state buffers. Okay? So let's assume that we want to do this step. We want to connect, for some reason, we do not have except one LED only, and we want to see sometimes the, the opposite of X, we want to see X bar, okay, which is here, okay, we want to see X bar, and some, some other times we want to see Y bar, okay, so the question is, what do we do in order, to, in order for us to see X bar and to see Y bar using a single LED, alright, so what we do is that we connect a three state buffer. Okay. And connect another three state buffer at the input. Okay. This is connected to Okay, and we have an E here. Okay, so a three-state buffer, three-state buffer, and both of them are enabled with an enable E. Put the X here, put the Y here. This is the X bar, this is the Y bar. Before I, I explain what a three-state, before I explain this circuit, I'm going to explain to you what a three-state buffer does. A three-state buffer is something that has an input of A and an output of A, one enable equals to one, all right? And it has an input of A and an output of nothing. We do not know what the output is, if the enable is zero. So if the enable is one, the input passes to the output directly, right? And when the enable is zero, the input is buffered from the output. The output is buffered from the input. Nothing 
from the input passes to the output. Okay? And internally, you could think of when the enable is one, you could think of the three state buffer as a line. Okay? When the enable is one. So the input is A, then the output is A. Right? And when the enable is zero, you could think of the three state buffer as an open circuit. When the input is A, the output is not known. The output is not connected to the input. Okay? And this is why we can make use of this circuit in order for us to connect the two outputs together. All right? So let's have a look at how the circuit is going to operate. If you have an input of X and an output and an input of Y, both of them, each one of them is connected to a specific NOT gate. Okay? And if you want to have the input, uh, and if you want to have the two outputs connected together. So what I'm going to, do, to put here, I'm going to put two three state buffers. Okay? The first one is fed with an enable, and the second one is, is fed with the inversion of the enable, the opposite of the enable. So how will this circuit work? Well, let's have a look at E, X, Y, okay, and then look at the output, Z. If the enable is zero, okay, what happens if the enable is zero? If the enable is zero, then this is zero. Then this becomes an open circuit. And this becomes a short circuit. Why? Because when the enable is zero, then this becomes a one. And when the enable is one, then you know that when the enable is one, it becomes a short circuit. This three state buffer is enabled. But when the enable is zero here, then this is not uh, closed. This switch is not closed. It is open circuit. Okay? And this is why, in that case, the Z is going to be equal to Y. Okay? So whatever, even I could, I could even write it like that. Enable. When it is zero, then the Z equals Y. Okay, let me write it again. Enable, Z. When the enable is zero, then the Z equals to Y. Okay? Let's study when, what happens when the enable is equal to 1. When the enable is 1, then this gate becomes closed. The switch becomes closed. Okay? And thus, oops, should be a bar. Okay? And this should be x bar. Okay? And when this enable is equal to 1, this becomes a 0. Okay? Remember that this is a NOT gate. Alright? This is a NOT gate. Okay? The enable is equal to uh, 1 then this becomes a zero, so this enable becomes equal to uh, then this becomes equal to a zero and this becomes a short circuit, an open circuit. Okay, so again, when E is one, then this three state buffer is closed, the switch, it, its switch is closed, and thus the X bar passes to the output. And at, at the same time, this zero becomes open. So it doesn't matter, it won't matter exactly what this Y bar is going to do. It, uh, it's going, not going to affect the output. And this is why the Z is going to be equal to X bar when E is 1. Okay? And this is basically the benefit of the three-state buffer. Is that you can, you're able to, using multiple three-state buffers, you're able to connect multiple outputs together by controlling the, and controlling which one you want it to pass to the output using a, a switch, a single switch. Okay? Hope you guys have uh, got a grasp of this, uh, the benefit of this three-state buffer. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions.